Hi, I'm Charles and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Now then, six months ago we started making our first batch of strawberry wine. Six months later, it's now time to do our six month taste testing. We're going to find out how good it turned out so far. Okay, before we get into the testing, we need to open this bottle of wine. Now, there are a couple of ways that we can do this. One, move this over here. We can just use a standard corkscrew. Now, another way of opening up your bottle of wine is by using a winged corkscrew, one of these. I'm sure you've all seen it. I'm sure some of you may still have one in your kitchen. And those work like this. Another way would be kind of a, using a, a waiter's corkscrew. This is a modified version of, but it works like this. Much easier way of doing it. Now, there was another way of opening up the bottle without resorting to a lot of expensive, fancy gadgets. You could have just basically just cracked it over the side of the table, broke off the neck, and then just scarfed it down that way, like they do in the movies. But <laughs> this ain't no movie. But there we go. Our wine has now been opened. I'm not going to say which method I used. I know that I can say this. When I'm showing off, I'll use one of these. When I'm really showing off, I'll use one of these. When I'm at home, <laughs> and it's just me, I'm more inclined to use one of these. I'm just saying. <laughs> and now for the moment that I at least have been waiting for. <laughs> the first test. This wine is crystal clear. I mean, there is no sediment, there's no haze, and there's no nothing. This wine, this wine was ready to be bottled. Smell is, you can smell the alcohol. It's got a, it's got a nice subtle strawberry flavor to it or smell to it. But the alcohol is present. The next time I make this, uh, probably we'll use a, a different wine yeast uh, so that the alcohol won't be as, 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 as pronounced. I mean, it's not. And it comes in at uh, 12%, but amazingly, at, uh, even at 12% ABB, you can smell the alcohol. Strawberry flavor is not, is not overwhelming. It's a, it's a very, it's a very light strawberry flavor. It's very light. It's also very dry. And that this was one of the first wines that I started to bottle. It was also one of the first wines that I bottled without back sweetening. Uh, the philosophy behind that was uh, when I was ready to drink it, I would go ahead and sweeten the, uh, the wine on a bottle by bottle, bottle by bottle basis, or if necessary, glass by glass basis. Now I back sweeten my wine at the time of bottling. So uh, yeah, it's a dry wine. 
I mean, it's not lemon, like a lemon pucker type of, of dryness, but it's definitely dry. But the flavor I like, it's very light flavor. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. This I can drink. That rice wine that I made, however, <laughs> jury is still out on that one. But this one, this one was nice. I wish I'd had uh, the uh, non-fermentable sugar that I'm currently using then, when I bottled this, that I do now. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and, and sweeten this with sugar. Uh, I'm going to have this with dinner, most definitely. And uh, yeah, this is a wine that I can actually sit down and enjoy. I've got, what, 10 bottles of it. So <laughs> yeah, I'll be enjoying this one for, for a little while now. So there, there you go. Strawberry wine. Mm -hmm.